This dress. Can we talk about it for a minute? This is my my princess dress. This is like I have to do this tonight. It's happening. This yep. dress. I'm gonna see if they'll let me borrow it from my wedding. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. You had such a great night. How are you feeling? Good. I'm feeling amazing. I feel like my head's gonna explode into confetti at any point. That's really? where I'm at right now. Yep. I love seeing your fiance's reaction when he watches you during oh, really? the show. Is that that's oh. so fun for you? That's I love watching uh, Evan's reaction uh, to Clark actually. Really? Because he gets hype. He gets over. He's over there. He's like, yeah, like freaking out. Oh, it's hilarious. Did you tell Clark, you're like, I have a big. You're my fiance's your biggest fan. Well, they have bro time every once in a while, so they're already best friends. They know. They they know. They all know about it. How are you feeling right now in the competition? Like, where's your head at? How are you emotionally? Do you need a nap? Let's get real for a second. Um, I always need a nap. <laughs> yeah. Prior to this competition, I think I needed a nap. So, um, no, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling 100% uh, myself. I am feeling unwavering in uh, my decisions of what I'm doing here and what songs I'm doing. And, and I'm proud of myself. Yeah. I'm stoked on myself right now. I'm really excited about it. I've learned so much since I got here, so I'm just grateful. Well, one of the best compliments, uh, one of the best uh, comments of the night when J-Lo said that you're the most unique in the competition. How did you take that? I think that's a really cool thing. Um, I think that that's something that American Idol has broken through with this year, is they dip their foot in the weird pool. They were like, oh, let's let's get uh, a little bit, little bit more unique people out here. And uh, me and Quentin, back here we are sprinting through this we are kicking through the glass just uh no it's a, it's and it's a really important thing um because i've said this a million times and i'll say it a million more times um there are younger people out there that are making art that isn't heard on the radio and they think that it's wrong because of that and that's the opposite of what it needs to be if what somebody is making isn't what's in the store or or on the radio or around them in, in social media and everything like that it means they need to do it more it means we need to find a way to break through the mainstream and get it out there um so i mean it's i know why i'm here there's a reason that. there's a reason and for I it how passionate you are about it too. yeah oh it's important it's important i thought i was a weirdo my whole life I'm here to convince little me's that they're not weirdos. It's my job. Yeah. For you has been the, the biggest uh, challenge in this competition? This week. In, for, in what way? Um, Billboard Top 100. It's not my forte. I think we've all figured that out at this point. Um, I'm not um, as, as well versed uh, in mainstream music as a lot of other people in this competition. This week uh, was the hardest. I really, really challenged myself this week by doing such a hit song number one song. I always make the joke that it was like the chandelier before chandelier, that everyone and their mom decided they were going to sing the song and most of it wasn't good. Like, you know, there was always that weird note in it. But um, yeah, to take a really huge hit song, a huge vocal song, um, and not change the arrangement of the song and put myself in it anyways and, and make it represent me as an artist without changing anything about it, um, which I feel good about. I feel like I did tonight. I'm satisfied. Moving forward in the competition, what do you, what do you, is there anything you want to change or anything you want to improve on? What, what are you thinking at this point? Um, I mean, I'm learning so much the more and more I'm here. I mean, the, the notes in Wrecking Ball, I couldn't hit a month ago. You know, there are, like they are, my vocal coach Kenya is pulling some sounds out of me that I did not know I was capable of. So, um, I mean, I just like to, I like genre hopping. I feel like I've done, I've done a rap song so far. I did Billboard song so far. I've done a Motown song. I've done a country song. Like, let's do some like weird stuff. Like I'm gonna do next week. Tune in, uh, salsa version with a Zydeco breakdown of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Check I'm it out. I'm not mad about that at Why all. Not? Let's do it. Now, if you could have any song play every single time you walked into a room, what would that be? What would be your theme song? Oh, God. I want it to just be the cheesiest thing ever. Let's do uh, Express Yourself by NWA. <laughs> That's going to be my theme song. <laughs> When you first said cheesy song, I was like, you know, it'd be good. I'm a Barbie girl like, in a, like the most I random. I was thinking more that like um, that like song was called She. It's like oh, She. Yeah. Da, 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 da. <laughs> like oh, just super cheesy. I love it. And tell your fans why they need to keep voting for you to keep you in the competition. Kiwis, 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 kiwis. Joey squads, all of you little babies out there. Um, keep voting. Keep staying to yourself. Stay to yourself. Stay true to yourself and stay positive above anything else. Thank you for watching the show and supporting. All of us are chasing a dream out here, and your support means the world. Have a great night. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, so good, good seeing, seeing you. you. I will see you soon. Em soon. Embrace your weirdness always. Yeah, stay <laughs>